All right, so I've got it running off of my homemade super cap bank charging the one with the logic board on it. Yep, and here's the cabling from my power supply. Yeah, it's definitely running running well too off of the super cap. I'm not sure how long it'll run for. What I need to do is set up a circuit that can go from the super caps that are being charged back over to the supply. But that is awesome. Not hooked up to the battery and not hooked up to the power supply. Power supply is off. Here's my crazy super cap bank. And it's running well. Let me turn it down a little bit now. Keep it the way it's going because it's charging up nice on the super cap bank. If I find the other lead. It's charging this guy up with 6 volts. Let me see how much is left on the... Wait a minute. So... There's still 9 volts left. I think I started off with 12. So that's pretty cool. So this guy's got 9 volts left. It's running the Bedini circuit motor. Charging up this guy, which has got about 7 volts now. This guy took very short time to charge up versus this guy with the logic board. But I'm going to see how long it takes. Still has 9 volts. Let me see if I turn the... Turn the potentiometer down. That is cool, man. I've always wanted to run one of these motors off of super capacitors. And a capacitor is not a battery. Down to 8 volts. I don't know how long. It's been running for about 10 minutes now. I don't know how long it'll run for. But Sky, here's, or Jorge, here's the circuit that you made that I fixed because the I, I burnt out the uh, the 3055 burnt it out big time I was freaking out I didn't know if I could fix it but I fixed it and it's working great see I'm going to guess it'll continue to run till it probably gets down to 5 volts, maybe 6. Let's see what the other one's charging up to. So the charging bank, 6.5 volts. I'm guessing this guy's probably getting close to just 8 volts now. Still going strong. Sweet! So I got the plastic for the maglev. I'm going to hopefully build that this weekend. Six and a half volts. Let me set up another meter to, to monitor the... Um, primary so it's down to seven volts 
and this guy's almost up to 7 volts, so we'll get parity here pretty soon. I can hear it starting to wind down a little bit. This is a really cheap meter. I got it with um, a really old uh, soldering kit. Let me try something really quick. I was going to try something, but I changed my mind. So now this guy's down to six and a half volts. And this guy's at, at seven. It's interesting. The charging cap bank is now higher voltage than the primary. It's still going. Yeah. I actually thought it would stop before then. All right. Cool. Just a quick actually, update. I think I'm going to keep recording or come on and off. So now I'm below 6 volts, 5 volts on the primary, 7 volts on the target or the charging bank. There's got to be a way... I can set up a circuit that starts to bleed this off when this gets below a certain voltage or this gets above a certain voltage or both. If anybody who's watching this knows how to do that, let me know. There is that channel, Learn Electronics. That guy's really smart. I could probably figure it out, but I'd rather learn it. So I don't burn anything else out. I bet you that guy, Learn Electronics, knows how to do this. Can't believe it's still going. Five and a half volts. Charging on seven and a half. I could, in theory, switch these now. Okay, it's not producing enough to even flash the um, neons. I think the neon bulbs are, I think they're 12 volts. So that would make sense. Five and a half volts, or 5.3. Let me come back when it gets, when it starts to see what the RPMs are. Forty-five hundred. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it's slowly dropping, and we're at just about five volts. Let's see how the temperatures are doing. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, the transistor's at room temperature below 5 volts, still going. This guy's not charging up very quickly now. Oh, the I had a loose terminal. Four point eight. I wonder what would happen. Now we're down to four and a half volts. Still around the same here. I wonder what would happen if I were to hook this up in series or actually in parallel with this guy. I think what it would do is just double the voltage. And it would just last longer. It wouldn't really do anything. Yeah. Four volts. I'm really surprised this guy is still cooking. But it's steadily slowing down. I just tacked it and it was like... Yeah, it was slow. It was like 4,400. Let me see if I can find the tack. Yeah. 
Yeah, now it's at 37.16. Hey, man, I gotta keep it still because it's jumping all over the place. That's probably right. Not the, the 36 is probably right. Uh-oh, this guy's jumping all over the place. I wonder why that is. There it goes. I must have hit some of the wiring. Going up a little bit. This is a great circuit. Oh yeah, when I hit that, that's when it drives that crazy. Because I'm, yeah, I'm stopping the charging then so it floods it. Below four volts. There it goes. 722. All right, yeah, I found this is the last note. Three and a half volts, under three and a half. 724, seven volts. So I can, I tell you this right now, you can't do this with regular capacitors. I mean, this has been going on for a, a good 20 minutes, half an hour. I've been coming back to it. I'm really surprised how long and how low this bank will get and this thing still continues to run. All right.